This is Math 99. We are working on section 6.3, um, logarithms. And so what are logarithms and how do they relate to exponents? And uh, the answer to that question is basically that logarithms are exponents. Here's what I mean. If I write um, log base 2 of 8, uh, that, that would equal some number. So this log base 2 of 8, it's asking a question. And the question that it's asking is, 2 to what power would give me 8? In other words, another way to write this is 2 to the power of the answer, of the output of the logarithm, is the input into the logarithm, 8. So this log base 2 of 8, it's um, eh, maybe a little less clunky, or maybe the same level of clunky as writing this. But they're asking the same question, 2 to what power gives me 8? So this log base 2 of 8, this asks 2 to what power? All right, and the answer is, is 3. 2 to the third power is 8. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. Um, logarithms are exponents. They spit out exponents. That's, that's what they do. So if I write something like, um, if I write something like uh, log base 3 of 9, actually it makes this, let's make this an 81. Notice this is asking 3 to what power would give me 81. This is 3 to what power would give me 81. And the answer is 4. 3 to the fourth power is 81. One way to think about logarithms is to rewrite them as exponential statements. Um, so we have this question, 2 to what power gives 8. But I also have um, this relationship. If log base 3 of 81 equals 4, that's the exact same statement as 3 to the fourth equals 81. And when I say it's the exact same statement, what I mean is it's the same interplay between the numbers 3, 4, and 81. It, this is a way that the numbers 3, 4, and 81 relate to each other. Um, in general, if I say log base b of a equals c, that's the, I could rewrite that as saying b to the c power equals a. And being able to go back and forth between both these representations is... Uh, is actually super helpful. It's something that you're going to want to be able to do. So if I say like um, log base 5 of 25 is 2, well, that's true because 5 to the second power, 5 to the second power is 25. Um, well, let me say again, logarithms spit out exponents, right? That 2 is an exponent with a base of 5. That's what they do. So let's think about some of these. So there's a couple of statements written as, as logarithms, and I'm going to rewrite them as um, exponential statements. So for example, this one, 3 to the second power, 3 to the second power equals 9. Yeah, it's a true statement. Uh, this one as well, my base is 6. 6 to the 1 half power is equal to the square root of 6. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Square root is a, is a 1 half uh, exponent. Let's go the other way. All right, so if 2 to the 4th is 16, notice my base is 2, so it's going to be log base 2 of 16 is the exponent. If I rewrite this one, uh, log the base is 10. I'm going to write log base 10. I'm going to come back to that. Of 1 over 10,000 is negative 4. Yeah, and that's true as well. Like, notice, like, if I have 2 to the 4th, that's 2 times, uh, multiply by 2 4 times. If I have a negative 4, that means divide by that value ten, uh, 4 times. So this is 1 divided by 10 4 times. All right, uh, this log base 10, kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to stick a little pin in that. We'll, we'll come right back to it. So let's evaluate. Uh, evaluate. Evaluate means the value, find the value of. All right, so let's do some of these. So log base 7 of 49. Think about what that's asking. That's asking 7 to what power gives us 49? Well, second, second power. Uh, log base 4 of 64, 4 to what power? That's supposed to be a, a box, like a blank, not a zero, is 64. Probably three. You know, if I'm not sure, how about I just check that on my calculator? Uh, four to the third. Yep, 64. 
So that must be a three. How about this one? 121 to the what power is 11? Well, I know that 11 squared is 121. So the square root of 121 is 11. Square root is a one half power. Great. And then this last one, two to what power is one over 32? Well, I know that, let me think, two, four, eight, 16, 32. Two to the fifth power is 32. So if I multiply by two five times, I get 32. So this is one over 32. So I must have been dividing by two a bunch of times. So this must be a negative five. All right, um, let's get back to this log base 10. Um, you may be thinking like, how do I do this on a calculator? And we're not there yet, but you will probably notice that you have what is essentially a log button here. But this log button, when it just says log on its own, that's strictly a log base 10. So log itself, without any specified base, means log base 10. It's called the common log. It's because we have a base 10 uh, number system. So if I go log of 1,000, well, that's 10 times 10 times 10, those three zeros there, right? So that's, that'll be three. And notice I can do just log, not log base anything but 10, but just log by using that button. It spits out a three. All right, uh, so that's what log does. Um, if I wanted to evaluate log of 321, notice what I'm saying is 10 to what power is 321? I'm, I'm not gonna do that in my head. That's calculator, that's a calculator problem. So log of 321, notice it's about 2.507. Just rounded it out to those three decimal places. So all those logs I can I can do on my calculator if it's if it's base 10. Which is kind of cool because that lets me solve stuff like this. Like if I have 10 to the x is uh, 5,321. And I want to go 10 to what power is that? Um, I could grab my calculator and start to guess and check, which feels like a pain. But how about I rewrite this as a log statement? It's log base 10, so just log. I have a calculator button for that of uh, 5321 equals x. Notice x is the exponent. And so this, I can just, okay, how about I just do that on my calculator? Log 5321. And it's about 3.726. All right. Um, that is a lot of log stuff. There's one thing I want to, um, five to the zeroth power, or really pretty much anything to the zeroth power, except zero, it's one. It feels like it should be zero, but notice if I go five to the zero, if you trust your calculator, it spits out a one. Anything to the zeroth power is one, like I said, except zero. Um, and you can think about this because these exponents are about multiplying, like repeatedly multiplying by something, you know, like um, two times itself five times. But really, you start with a one. Um, so two to the zero is one. And you starting, you're starting with one to multiply everything or to divide everything. Um, and that's a, that's a good reason to think about why that would be. Hey, there's one other thing I want to talk about. So log itself is log base 10. Um, if you look on your calculator, you're also going to see a button that says LN. That is the natural log. Uh, from the French, log de naturale. <laughs> Listen to my French. Uh, LN means natural log, and all that means is the base is E. So if you have LN, that means log base E. So for example, if I said E to the X equals 500, the way I could rewrite that, like you might skip this first step, but I could say it's log base E of 500 equals X. Log base E is just natural log natural log of 500, and again, we have a button for that, natural log. So we have a log base 10 button, and we have a log base E button, which hopefully should lead you to believe that those numbers are both reasonably important since they get their own buttons on the calculator. 6.215 about. Notice what's that saying is if I take E to that power, I should get something about 500. 
I round it up so it'll be a little larger than 500. All right, uh, so log is log base 10, natural log is log base e, anything to the zeroth power is one. And this, if I say, what's log of one? Well, that's asking 10 to what power gives me a one, it's a zero. All right, give those problems a try and let me know what questions you have.